welcome class 8 today we will learn about specific gravity bottle so here we have a picture of specific gravity bottle this bottle is a small thin walled glass bottle so it is made up of glass which is used to measure the density or we can say the relative density of any given liquid so this glass is the specific gravity bottle so <clears throat> let's find out how we use this bottle to uh, measure the density of any liquid so for that we need a bottle specific gravity bottle then we need a weighing machine we also need a tissue paper so keeping these things ready we'll take the measurement of the empty bottle empty specific gravity bottle and we'll take the reading shown in the uh, uh, weighing machine so here as we can see the reading is shown 50 so we can say that the mass of empty bottle represented as small m1 is equal to 50 grams then we'll take the bottle and we'll fill it with the liquid here let's say the liquid taken is water so we'll fill the the bottle with water and we'll tightly you know squeeze the cap as this ca cap is tightened up some of the extra water will ooze out from here from its mouth and that water outside the bottle is dried using the tissue paper then <clears throat> we'll take the measurement of this bottle which is filled with liquid but which is which has been dried up from outside we'll take this and we'll take the measurement of its mass now here the mass of this bottle with the liquid is taken so here the reading shows 300 that means it is 300 grams so the mass of bottle and liquid that is taken as m2 is equal to 300 grams so we can say that the mass of the liquid which is inside the bottle is equal to the mass of bottle and liquid that we have taken as m2 minus the mass of empty bottle which we have taken as m1 so this is equal to m2 minus m1 and the value of m2 is equal to 300 grams and m1 is equal to 50 grams so 300 grams minus 50 grams is equal to 250 grams so this is the difference in the mass of bottle with liquid and the mass of empty bottle or simply this is the mass of the liquid which has been taken and the bottle was of 250 ml milliliter so the volume of the liquid which is represented by capital v is equal to 250 ml now we know the formula for density which is equal to mass divided by volume so here in this case we have mass is equal to m2 minus m1 divided by volume v m2 minus m1 that is the mass of the liquid is equal to 250 grams and the volume is equal to 250 ml so here 250 gets cancelled so we get 1 gram per milliliter so this is the density of the liquid that is water next is relative density 
now the relative density as the terms is relative it's the comparison between any two given values so the relative density of a substance is the ratio of its density to the density of any standard substance here the standard substance when we are considering the density of liquids we always take the standard substance as water so the standard substance is usually taken as water so relative density since it's the ratio of the same quantity therefore it does not have any unit it's purely a number so relative density can be represented as the density of any substance divided by density of the standard substance that is density of water or it can also be represented as mass of any volume of the of of a particular substance divided by mass of same volume of water 